Hey guys, Steve here from Bloom Audio. Utopia has demonstrated amazing staying power, remaining Focal's flagship headphone since its release in 2016. But Focal decided it was time for a change. and They've released a new version of the Utopia with updates to the driver and design, the goal of bringing us one step closer to Focal's vision of headphone perfection. Focal Utopia is renowned for its detail and precision, providing a neutral sound signature, a spacious soundstage, and vivid imaging. Many consider it to be one of the best headphones ever made, but some find that its incisive detail can be a little too unforgiving. So the new 2022 version features updates to the drivers, but will they address any of the criticism of the headphones? And can they address that criticism without compromising what made the Utopia so great to begin with. Let's take a closer look. The package for the 2022 Utopia is very similar to the update we got in 2020 with the uh, cables, case, and full package that you get with the Utopia or the Stelia, including the XLR balance that I don't have out right now. But I wanted to point out a couple key differences here in the visual design and in the head. So, package. So, you can see here, this is the 2020 case and this is the 2022 case. Uh, so, again, same style case, just a little bit of a different visual look uh, from this more sort of a herringbone almost look to just a flat black design on the new one. They also updated the cables. So, you might be used to these cloth wrap cables on the Utopia. They've replaced that with a more of a standard rubber wrap. I did a terrible job of wrapping these. They also have this nice little leather. Here. So you can see this is a pretty, um, pretty standard cable here. Uh, this is, you can see the differences, but not a huge difference. Just some subtle updates to the materials there. The headphones themselves, at first glance, they look pretty similar, but when you look in closely, you do see the differences here. So the basic construction, the band, uh, the pads, and all of that is pretty much the same. The carbon fiber has a different finish now with more of a marbled finish versus the checkers of the original. And then when you look at this, you see now it has this honeycomb grill instead of the standard grill here. Uh, there's more simple grill. And then in here, they've made some physical design changes uh, to this, uh, the grill driver here, the driver grill. And that's reflected in the way this is. And they've also made internally upgrade updates to the design that's supposed to enhance the lifetime and the durability of the drivers. Uh, so the, the physical voice coil itself actually been updated as well as, again, these sort of more subtle exterior updates. Utopia 2022 delivers that same combination that made the original so great. Transparency, the imaging, the detail, soundstage. And the imaging and soundstage are balanced in a way that lets you see the big picture but also zoom in on those little details that capture every nuance of the performance. The bass is fast and accurate. There's good extension into the sub bass, good physicality and dynamics there, but again, very accurate, natural bass. And as you move into the mid range, it's the same story. Uh, neutral, detailed, a great layering and separation of the mids and an all around natural timbre there. In the treble, you get good extension, air at the top, and excellent resolution. And what makes the tuning of the treble so great is you get that prominent treble, but it largely remains non-fatiguing and it avoids any sibilance or harshness up there. Soundstage is wide, deep, has good height as well. 
and the imaging is vivid and holographic. And with the level of detail you get from Utopia, coupled with the strong imaging, just this very immersive sense that, again, it balances the intimacy and the scale very well, where you can have a singer kind of in your face uh, and get that personal, emotional feeling from the singer with the rest of the band or ensemble sort of spread way out like you're in an amphitheater, uh, but also up close and personal. One of the great things about Utopia has always been that you get this great performance, but with the beryllium-coated dynamic drivers, you can get that in a pretty sensitive headphone. Uh, you can drive Utopia on any number of devices, uh, portable and otherwise, the big thing is really making sure that you, know, you have clean, high-quality amplification. doesn't need to be a ton of power. And that you give it the best DAC you can. In order to really deliver that detail and resolution, uh, you're going to need the DAC to be up to snuff to provide what Utopia can give you. For the comparison section, I really wanted to focus on the differences between the original Utopia and the 2022. While a lot of the differences are really pretty subtle, they add up to make a, a big difference in the overall listening experience. The first difference is in the bass. The original Utopia has a largely linear bass, but it has some roll off into the sub bass. And the 2022 version fixes that. It extends the bass deeper into the sub bass, and in the end is more accurate. So you get a little more rumble and a little more slam out of the bass, but it's not an emphasis in the bass, it's just a higher level of accuracy there. Other difference is in the treble. So I love how the original Utopia has had this incredibly revealing sound in the treble that just gave you these fine micro details but at the same time, some genres, some songs, or just some lower quality tracks really weren't listenable on this as they would get harsh. Certain singers, uh, even some you know, fairly popular singer genres, uh, I think of like that sort of Coldplay, Radiohead type of male voice uh, was, could become unlistenable on the Utopia due to the sibilance. 2022 version largely fixes that without really compromising the revealing nature. Now, I do think some people will, will miss um, some of those, those peaks in the original Utopia, but overall, I think the 2022 version just does it better. It gives you highly detailed, yeah, credible resolution, and still highly revealing treble without falling into harshness or sibilance as much as the original Utopia would. The big thing I love about Utopia 2022 is how it's about making the headphone better by making it more accurate. The changes to the bass aren't an emphasis in the bass, it's not adding bass that shouldn't be there. It's a more accurate, more linear bass that has the full extension. And again, in the treble, Utopia has always been a more treble forward headphone. And 2022 remains a treble forward headphone, but with a better crafted treble. So altogether, Utopia 2022 takes an already excellent headphone and improves upon it just continuing the legacy of one of the greatest headphones of all time.